Assalamu alaikum, this is Amin from Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. So a while ago I did a video which didn't look the best to be honest, it was in a dark room and stuff. Um, about uh, getting a job and how it's you know you don't have to worry too much about it how to trust in Allah how you can get a job all of that right um, I could make a better one but what I want to address this week is um, the actual interview process and how although I should be the kind of person to be very nervous going to an interview not very confident etc etc I actually find that I'm pretty good at it alhamdulillah and I feel that if I ever have to go to an interview in the near future I'll be okay. Whether I get the job or not, that's up to Allah. But in terms of my actual performance, I think I, uh, I implement some strategies that really help me a lot. So what are those strategies? Firstly, why is uh, going to an interview so nerve-wracking, make you so anxious? It's because you're going to be judged. You know that you're going there to be judged. And why is that uh, something that causes us to get very nervous and anxious? It's because firstly there's the element of rejection could be there, okay? So they're going to judge you, they're going to decide are you a good or bad person basically uh, uh, based on their criteria. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is that, um, you know, traditionally when we lived in more, you know, simple uh, environments, simple communities, if someone was to judge you as being bad, um, you might not be able to live with other people which means that you could be um, outcast from the village or from the community, which means you might die. Because alone, you know, we can't do much alone. You know, we can't s suffice ourselves in terms of getting food and all of that, usually ourselves on our own. So it could mean death, okay? So that, that's why this stuff is built into us, for us to really want to be accepted by people, okay? So that's why it's so scary. So how do you flip that? is that you go there with the mindset of they're going to judge me, yes, but I'm going to judge them. I want to know if they would be a good employer employer for me, okay? Um, will I be good for them? That's for them to judge. Now I need to see, will they be good for me? And that's why I always go there um, genuinely thinking, okay, is it going to be a good place to work or not? Because when I'm going there to work, I'm going there to uh, not just to make money but to develop I want to know if, will this job advance me in my career We're, and so that's why one question I always ask them and I have this question ready for them so they know I mean business is will you have training you know what kind of resources do you devote to training um, and that puts them on the back foot because they have to answer to me now usually we do this at the end of the interview and they have to answer to me but also it shows I'm serious about my development okay and that raises my value in their eyes so the first tip I give is to be judging them just how they are judging you okay uh, the next is uh, go in there with a plan so do some research on the on the company do some research on the role and uh, if you can, do find out what they could improve on and make a plan, write down in a notebook what you would do in the job, okay? So it's very different to going in there and saying, yeah, I've done this in the past and I've got this experience, I studied this and I did this training. It's very different if you go there and say, look, you hire me, I'll do this, 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 this for you, okay? Even if they don't agree with your plan, you're showing, you're demonstrating your real skills to do the real job at hand, the job for them for their specific company, specific to them, not just uh, in theory, okay? So go in there with a plan, have it on a notebook, and then you can even read it off the notebook. I mean, you know, just have some bullet points to refer to, and then say, oh, I would do this, and I would do this, I would do this. For me, this has worked like a dream, okay? You walk in there with the plan and say, I will do this for you, okay? So they get a real idea, and trust me, no one is doing this stuff, okay? So that gives you a big, big advantage. That's probably the biggest tip to take away from this. Go in there with a plan of what you will do for them, okay? Even if your job is simple, like customer service, what customer service processes can you put in place to make sure things never go wrong? A checklist, perhaps, of has this been done has it every day? Or for every customer you deal with, have I done this? Have I thanked them? Have I done this, this, this? These things are useful still. Okay, so no matter the role, you can find some stuff that you can uh, present to them as a plan of action, okay? Next is to go in there, obviously with the mindset of, in the end, 
sorry, the third point would be 24 hours before your interview, relax. Okay, and I say the same for it, for exams. No, most of the work, the, the preparation you do 24 hours or closer before your interview, it's not going to help you much. Okay, before that, you should have uh, done your research, created your plan. Um, you know, in your CV, the preparation is there. In your cover letter, the, the, the preparation is there. 24 hours before, it's too late. The best thing you can do for your performance in your interview now is to relax. Okay, so to go in there feeling relaxed, feeling confident. Okay, and uh, then you'll perform your best. Okay, so 24 hours before, just relax and know that anything that could have been done has already been done or should have been done. Okay, don't leave anything to 24 hours before or closer. Okay, that's number three. Number four is to know that this is in the hands of Allah. So you've made your plan, you've uh, made a good CV, you've uh, done whatever training you've done over the past years of your life. Okay, you've got whatever experience, that's all in the past now, yeah? Um, your performance on the day, you've tried to set yourself up. So you're, you're feeling good, you're feeling confident, you've got this plan to present to them. So you've done your part. Now you've got to know that it's up to Allah. You've got to know that it's up to Allah, what happens. It may be that you do all this good preparation and you don't get the job because another candidate was better or because Allah is taking you away from a bad job, okay? Because you never know. You've got to be humble, of course, and I've spoken about this in other videos, of course. Um, so go in there thinking, look, I've done my part, okay? I've done my preparation, right? And Allah says, you've got to do your part. You have to uh, kind of work to deserve Allah's help, okay? So you put in the effort, a little bit of effort to qualify for Allah's help, then Allah will help you. Allah will steer you in whatever direction is best for you, inshallah. And that leads me on to the next point, which is to have husn of dhan billah, you know? Expect the best of Allah. Okay, they expect that if you put the preparation in and you're doing this, uh, you're being proactive, you're creating your plan and all of this, you go into the interview, you have good intention to earn halal money, to earn money, to do good stuff with this money for your family and everything. Expect of Allah that he will give you the best outcome for your custom personalized situation. Okay, your friend, you got this, wow, this job, big salary, this, this, this. You applied for something similar, you didn't get it. But it's custom to you. The outcome is custom to what will be good for you, okay? Uh, and then finally, the person themselves that's interviewing you, know that they will not be the one giving you the job. It will be Allah that is going to give you the job. This person is just part of the process, if you think about it, yeah? Um, the outcome is for Allah, and the process is for you and for the person there. And so, just know that you're going in, the, in, in this interview, relax. You've done the preparation, right? So just talk to them, have a conversation in the end. Um, and it's always good to think, I'm judging them. I wanna know what they're like as well, you know? I, I, it's funny, you know, there are two questions I ask usually. Uh, first is, what training is there? And second is, what uh, are your values, okay? Um, and that kind of, it puts them on the back foot uh, and that gives you authority and that's good. So um, yeah, be that person that is also asking some questions, you want to know if they're good, and then, um, you know, just trust in Allah, make dua, know the outcome is uh, going to be for the best no matter what, inshallah. So uh, these are my tips for interviews, really. Um, most of the preparation is done uh, weeks before you even apply for the job, but then the little bit that you can do later is uh, this plan I talked about. And just basically feeling calm, feeling confident, okay? So I hope you got a lot out of this video. I think it's better than my previous one for job seeking. Um, and really, it's worked very well for me. Um, usually, w when I use these techniques and I don't get the job, it's because they had someone, uh, another candidate who had some specific experience or skill that I didn't have. And uh, that's something that I couldn't change, right? So I apply for the job, I've got an interview in two weeks. How can I get that experience that the other candidate have in, had in two weeks? I can't. So therefore it means that it's not this these techniques that didn't work. It's just, you know, Allah wrote that the other person would apply and they have more specific skills for you, you know? Um, and let me end it on this. I'm an employer now, okay? And the number one skill I'm looking at for people is 
proactivity, taking initiative, not coming to me with problems, but finding problems and then coming up with solutions. So you, you've got a problem, you come to me and say, look, this has happened, um, this has happened, uh, here are the solutions, which one should I pick? You know, being taking initiative, this is the number one thing. If you do that in your job search and once you get the job, you're gonna be a very, very good employee, I think. And, uh, you know, may Allah uh, give you the best um, of outcomes in uh, whatever you're trying to get. This has been Amin with Sarah Masters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.